I am now creating weekly exclusive content for Patreon, so if you are interested in that, go check out the link down below. And of course, if you want to avoid the random lottery of FIFA points, you want to go straight to the source, buy the players directly, use u7buy.com and use the code TVM at checkout. What is going on guys, Tivium here, welcome back to another Team of the Season predictions. I think this could be the final one though, because we are at that stage, it's the rest of the world. The ultimate came out, it was pointless trying to predict that, that was kind of obvious. Uh, just take this with a pinch of salt though, because there are an awful lot of leagues and an awful lot of candidates. I mean, there could literally be any one of a hundred players, right? We're going to go in no particular order. Weissman at first, 23 goals, 3 assists, 7.64 average match rating i'm not going to go with specifics into where the team has finished or how well he's his teammates have done or whatever and, and we're going to move on very swiftly through these uh Yunuzovic with two free kick goals five assists 7.44 match rating well known within the league so definitely wouldn't be surprised to see him uh pop pop up uh we're going to go with diamanti of course from the australian league he's got five goals and seven assists 7.59 match rating ea will tend to go for the slightly more well-known players as well as those who actually deserve to be there talk more about that as we progress jonathan david with 18 goals eight assists 7.22 match rating again with these players i'm not gonna sit here and reel off a list of stats it's just goals assists and if they're defenders it's sort of clearances and such Orsic, we all know this guy, most of us would have his headliner, uh, 12 goals, 5 assists, 7.3 average match rating, that could be dangerous if he does get that team of the season, because uh, I can't imagine, I mean he'll be a little bit expensive, but not crazy expensive because of the links, but deadly. Moving on to Sviachenko, he has uh, 107 clearances, 6 goals and assists combined and 7.26 match rating, not too bad for a centre back. These are going to be in and around sort of the 87, 88 rated as we move on to the Greek Zeka with 44 interceptions, 28 clearances, 7.18 match rating, a pretty well-rounded card. Nothing like too crazy, but if you're a fan of him or the club, that is uh, not too bad. Uh, Prior, I mean, you know, there are going to be goalkeepers. Of course, there are probably two from the rest of the world. Uh, and Prior has made 100 saves with 12 clean sheets, which is very impressive, but it's just a card that no one's really going to be interested in. I'm going to go with Grange. It's probably not pronounced that way. Five goals, five assists, 7.37 match rating for a, I would say, right wing, but he played most of the the season as a left wing back. So, yeah, just depends what EA wants to do, really. Behrens... Uh, with 12 goals, 4 assists. I'll say that for the previous player. It depends what EA want to do. Because Atal didn't play right wing. I think he played right wing for like 3 games of the season. They still gave him a right wing. So EA will literally do whatever they want. Uh, Kittel... Uh, left wing, 5-star weak foot potentially as well, 11 goals, 5 assists, 7.42 match rating. I mean, it looks like a decent card, but with a 5-star weak foot, people might be interested in this, so just keep an eye out. I uh, can't even remotely try and pronounce that guy's name. Plays for the uh, second uh, Bayern team, of course, 19 goals, 3 assists. Wouldn't be surprised to see him somewhere near the first team at some point. Uh, decent looking card as well. Uh, Val Buena, of course, most of us will know about him uh, from previous FIFAs and indeed this one because he's got himself a flashback already this season, which all but guarantees him a team of the season. Six goals, 11 assists, 7.38 match rate. And I say that because EA tend to double up on their promo cards. And, uh, well, I'll talk about that when we get to it. El Arabi, couple of informs this season. 17 goals, 6 assists, 7.41 match rating. Not a bad-looking card either. Maybe lacking somewhat in passing and potential pace. But his dribbling and shooting is going to be insane. Let's move on to Letizia. Uh, probably saying that wrong, Letizia, no idea. Six goals and assists combined and 63 tackles, 7.33 match rating for a left back. He doesn't look too bad and he'll be super, super cheap. Let's move on to Montipo, his teammate, of course. Uh, 71 saves, uh, 15 clean sheets, 7.27 match rating. Again, it's another goalkeeper. It's another average rated goalkeeper as well. Very much a Hamid style goalkeeper. Uh, Fuku Mori probably saying that wrong 10 goal contributions 51 tackles and 7.42 match rating for a center back to be fair doesn't look horrendous but at the same time unless you are a fan of the club you're not gonna buy it nakakawa Nak nakagawa yeah nakagawa uh up next with 14 goals and 10 assists that is an awful lot of goal contributions 
Quite a pacey little player off the bench, but apart from that, not really going to set the world alight. Akram with his 11 goals and 8 assists, 7.7 .7 match rating is very, very high. So would not be uh, surprised to see him creep in there. But, um, you know, very good passer of the ball, not an awful lot else. Uh, Borven. Uh, he actually played sort of centre forward more than anything else this season, but striker centre forward is basically the same thing. 21 goals and 4 assists in there, reasonably high match rating as well. We move on to a guy that I, I mean, try and pronounce that. Shewinski. Let's go with Shewinski. That's quite easy, actually. Six assists, 34 tackles, 7.2 match rating. Looks like a very good right back, actually. But unfortunately, not easy to fit into a team. Hanker, uh, who off the bench could be kind of good is he going to be right wing back is he going to be right mid i don't know if it's a right wing back expect the defensive stats to be slightly better than they are uh, but again ea will do ea things i'm not going to try and pronounce this guy's uh, name either samuel is his first name we'll go with that 40 tackles 76 clearances that looks like a great card and because he's french you could actually fit that into a team and because he plays in the russian league he should be very cheap krishawiak up next krakowiak krishawiak who knows uh, apart from Polish people who probably do know. 11 goal contributions, 25 tackles, 7.27 average match rating. He is a player of the year nominee. He is a blast from the past, and that looks like a sensational card. Tavernier, let's move on to the cards that people are really interested in then. This is the league everybody's interested in. So, Tavernier, 3 goals, 9 assists, 7.44 match rating. Does he deserve it? Maybe. He missed out last year. So we'll have to wait and see. But that's not the Rangers player we want to see. This isn't either because this is a Celtic player, Eduard. He's all but guaranteed with 20 goals, 4 assists. I'm hoping he's going to be higher rated and a little bit more desirable to use. But EA being EA and they hate the Scottish League, I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't even get in there. And they went with this man instead, Ryan Kent. Who, by the way, I don't think, just on stats, deserves to be there. 7 goals, 1 assist. 6.92 match rating, but because it's Ryan Kent and he's one of those cards that, you know, the 84 rated um, UEL live card is even used now. He's in my weekend league team and he's an 84 rated card. I wouldn't be surprised to see this and then everyone go absolutely mental over it. So, yeah, watch this space. Collar up next with uh, 20 clean sheets. He's only conceded eight goals in 27 games, which if you're not aware is unbelievably impressive. It looks like a semi-decent card, I suppose, but again, it's a goalkeeper, and it's going to be so difficult to fit into a team. Speaking of goalkeepers that are not easy to fit into teams, Jose Sar is another one of those with nine clean sheets, 7.34 match rating. Just got to sort of hope that they don't just fill it with goalkeepers and they just choose one or two. I don't know. Uh, Koyung, there's a lot more to that guy's name than, than that. It's Kimbo Koyung. 13 goals, 9 assists, 7.71 match rating. Apparently, he won the MVP, whatever that is. Uh, looks like a... Well, it's a card, isn't it? Let's just be honest. Stuani uh, used to be in La Liga and had a very nice-looking card back then. Could he replicate that? But, of course, from the division below. 23 goals, 1 assist, and a 7.27 match rating. You'd hope so, because that card doesn't look terrible, which is nice. Uh, let's move on to Hernandez, uh, one of the players from the same league, of course. Uh, 108 clearances, 23 tackles, 7.05 match rating. I would love to see EA just do specific team of the seasons for each league. None of this rest of the world nonsense. Uh, Christiansen up next with his uh, 9 goals, 3 assists, 7.65 match rating. Like, I'd like to see this card, but I'd because that's unbelievably well-rounded, right? But I'd like to see a lot of his teammates and... and Plays from that league get informs or not informs team of the season cards as well like Larson for example uh, with six goals six assists seven point three one match rated but it's the chances are Larson will miss out and they'll just include Christensen and then they'll move on and it'll be impossible to link him if they gave card like this guy this is a perfect example for someone who is literally going to be on the bench if anything uh, he has managed to bag himself uh, nineteen goals in eighteen games with five assists. It, it, it's just like, what team do you put him in? There's only one player from that league even remotely usable. Mignolet, believe it or not, 17 clean sheets, 7.09 match rating. He's found his level and he's performing very well. He's actually uh, one of the goalkeepers who's got the highest speed in the game. He hasn't got the highest speed, but he's one of them. Uh, let's move on to Tyson. Three very interesting players now that I wouldn't mind picking up. Nine goals, nine assists, 7.48 match rating. That looks like an unreal card. Imagine how... Well, that will fit the meta with his dribbling and his pace and 
and his passing and all the rest of it. Just a great card. A player that I used an awful lot at the very beginning of the game is Maley uh, with 5 assists, 39 tackles, 7.10 match rating. Wouldn't be surprised to see EA throw this in there just so that you have to go and get him to link him with uh, either Tyson or with this fella, Marlos, who has recently got himself a Man of the Match card. But once again, how well would he fit the meta? Could you potentially get is mainly Marlos and Tyson, if they release all three in the same team together, that would be, I mean, pretty cheap, I would have thought, and very, very nice. That is going to bring us to the end of the rest of the world. There probably, well, there, there almost certainly are cards I've left out that deserve to be there, 100%, but, I mean, I could literally just reel names off for days. We could have made a 45-minute video and still had people left over. The one thing I was saying, though, I know there's going to be a lot of... Um, Leagues that only have like a, a couple of teams and fair enough, make up rest of the world with them. But for, you know, for example, the Scottish League, why not have a specific S SPFL uh, team of the season where they do heavy boosts, you know, like big, massive, juiced up cards that aren't just 83, 84 rated and they actually go into the 88, 89, 90 rated cards and they make them all usable so that we can all link them together because it's all well and good giving us that... Um, that Fodu Labber card, right? But he's the only player from that league that's even going to be remotely usable. In fact, he's probably the only player in that league who is a gold. So who am I going to link him to? Nobody. That's the answer. And then he won't get used. So that's my opinion. But hey, that's EA for you. But uh, let me know who you think is the best looking card, excluding Kent, let's be honest, uh, from that list. And if I've missed anyone out, feel free to let me know in the comments. If you have enjoyed the video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for new, and until the next time... Goodbye. Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.